Hey everyone, welcome back to Vegas Top Dogs YouTube TV, YouTube channel update, NFL week four, NFL flying by. We got our special guest, Jeff Hawkman, ready for uh, his NFL selections and player props. We'll get to him in one minute, but first, like, subscribe, thumbs up, like, subscribe, thumbs up each and every time. You'll be notified when we post a new video. Also, be sure to visit VegasTopDogs.com, free picks, articles, Sports book bonuses and more. Check it out, VegasTopDogs.com each and every day. Jeff, welcome back. Hey Tony, nice to see you once again. Ready? I for see you a, have your uh, Ravens hat on. I guess for uh, defeating the Cowboys. Well, absolutely, I'm got to rub it in. Thank you. Uh, you know I'm against the Cowboys this year, even though they're my favorite team. I heavily invested in the under ten and a half at minus one twenty five back in May. So far, so good. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, how about odds to win the NFL South? I saw that today. A little bit surprising here for the four teams in the NFL South. Carolina, Atlanta, New Orleans, and Tampa Bay. Who do you think the favorite to win it is? Well, I would pick Atlanta, but uh, probably Tampa Bay maybe. Yeah, surprisingly, Atlanta's the third option at 5-2, to two, and uh, the two favorites – at three to two are Tampa Bay and New Orleans. So a uh, little bit of surprise. Um, Carolina Panthers, 150 to one. If you're looking for uh, a long shot, there's one for you with uh, Andy Dalton. Yeah, we cashed our five star best bet in the NFL last week with the Denver Broncos. One of the big reasons why is that Tampa Bay, when they don't have Vita Vea, they're only two and four straight up. Now two and five in the Todd Bowles era. So, yeah, no, I don't like Tampa Bay this year. Well, what do you have for us this week with your uh, NFL side play? Speaking of the NFC South, Tony, we're going to go to the Atlanta Falcons. They're minus two, minus 115. Uh, you can find this two and a half at other books, minus 110. Obviously, I like the minus two at minus 115. FanDuel does have minus one and a half at minus 110. That line will probably be going up shortly. This is an actual service play of mine that went out to my clients and is currently up on the VegasTopDogs.com website. I'm not happy with my free pick performance. The props have been okay. The side selections have not been, or my teaser play a couple of weeks ago. So I've decided to give you an actual service play as the free pick this week. Atlanta Falcons, minus two, minus 115. This is a matchup the Falcons have had circled since the last game of the 2023 season. Why? The Saints extended their lead by scoring a late touchdown. They won 48-17. They punched it in instead of just kneeling down to run out the clock. Yes, they have a new coaching staff in Atlanta. However, many of the returning players remember that game, and they are pissed off. Two key offensive linemen for the Saints out. Center, Eric McCoy. Guard, Cesar Ruiz. Injuries. They sustained injuries last week. They are not playing in this game. Saints had a narrow loss to the Eagles last Sunday, but they were outgained by 241 yards. Also, linebacker Demario Davis, seven straight seasons with 100-plus tackles. He did not practice on Wednesday or today, Thursday. He's likely out. If he does play, he's not going to be 100%. The Falcons are ranked second in strength of schedule through three weeks. New Orleans is ranked 27th. I like the Falcons here, minus two. I have it power rated at 2.9. So I think the line should be three. Good value here with the Falcons at home. Good choice, Jeff. Good choice. Good information as usual with your selection. Let's uh, jump over to uh, my selection here. Goes in the late action on Sunday. Cleveland Browns visit the Vegas Raiders. Vegas Raiders embarrassed last week by the Carolina Panthers. Who saw that coming? Uh, Antonio Pierce was not happy. Called out his players, said they gave up halfway through the game. Called out his coaches. I expect them to rebound back here. They're at home once again. They don't have to travel. Uh, Minshew should have a much better game. He rarely has back-to-back Poor performances. He did not play well last week. Miles Garrett is playing hurt for Cleveland. The offensive line for the Browns is not playing well. Uh, Deshaun Watson 
sacked eight times last week. He just looks lost on that team. I think the Raiders bounce back in a big way. They'll be motivated here at home. Lay the two points with the Vegas Raiders Sunday late NFL action. Jeff, I think you have a player prop in that game for us. I do, Tony. I agree with your selection. Uh, One of the reasons why Cleveland has struggled this season, they don't have Nick Chubb. I mean, Nick Chubb is like one of the best running backs in the league. And he's very vital to the Cleveland Browns offense because Deshaun Watson, although he's not putting out, putting up great numbers since he left Houston, he has been good with play action passes. So not having Nick Chubb, he's a beast. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why Cleveland has been struggling. So I'm all over your Raiders pick. And I love a prop in this game. Tight end Brock Bowers over 38 and a half receiving yards. That's it. Are you kidding me? Minus 115 right now, Tony. Week one, he had 58 receiving yards versus the Chargers. Week two, he had 98 yards against the Baltimore Ravens. Last week, he had 41 yards against Carolina. So he's averaging 68.5 yards receiving yards, excuse me, per game. It's clear to me that teams are having trouble, you know, matching matching up against him. He, he's just so big and fast, very skillful. Bowers has a 20% target share from all tight ends. That That's tied for first with Trey McBride of Arizona. So he's, you know, targeted a lot in the offense. He was a high draft pick. The Raiders are going to use him. My model has him for 65 yards. That's a huge delta from the opening number of 38 and a half. So I'm all over Brock Bowers to continue his streak of going over his receiving yards prop. Make it 4-0 after this week, Tony. Sounds good, Jeff. My player props. I hope I don't put the injury high bosh on him once again here. Uh, two weeks ago, who was my Rams receiver that got injured? Uh, Puka Nakua. Injured in the second quarter. Would have been an easy winner. Last week, Sam Laporta, I think he had 26 receiving yards halftime. We needed over 36. He gets injured, tries to come back, one play, done for the game, second quarter. This week, I'm going to go with a guy that's not used quite a bit, but I think we have a solid play for you. Kansas City Chiefs receiver Justin Watson, over 15 and a half receiving yards. He gets in for 47% of the plays. He only had one catch last week against a very good linebacker core of the Atlanta Falcons. I think he gets two or more catches. He goes over 15 and a half. Um, He's in for 47 of the team's plays. So I think he'll have uh, more success here against Chargers defense. Look for him to go over 15 and a half total yards. I think that's a solid player prop winner for all viewers out there. I'll be watching closely for that prop play. Just make sure everybody to like, subscribe to this video. It really helps with our uh, analytics. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get a sponsorship here. So we do appreciate everyone that likes uh, this video. Subscribe, tell a friend, tell an enemy. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Views are going up each and every week. You know, they they like our information. They like our... uh, you know, honesty with our selections. Anyone ask questions down below, we try to answer them within 24 hours. So uh, any questions on any games, just add them here and Jeff or myself will uh, get back to you for NFL Sunday action. Jeff, thanks again for joining us once again this week. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for having me. Good luck to all the viewers out there and let's go get some cash. And uh, be sure to visit VegasTopDogs.com as always. Good luck and be a winner.